Assalamu alaikum dear friends today i'm here to explain and telling the most important mcqs of hypothesis testing that mcqs are very very important for you and all universities so much watch this lecture till end if you want to gain more of the set and i have tell the reason that why the mcqs are correct i will explain them so let's start the video here is the first mcq is that type first error is made by rejecting of h not if h not is true because we know that type first error is for rejection but we know that type second error we know that type second error is made by type first error is made by rejecting but type second error is made by accepting accepting of as not accepting of as not but here type first error made by rejecting first not if as not is true if as not is true but here as not is false type second error is made by accepting as not when as not is false so must remember that that's very very key point for you uh, must remember that type first error is made by always rejecting of h not if h not is true must remember that and next type second error is made by accepting of h not when h not is false so must remember that key point that definitions type first error second error mcqs are very very important for you next move second mcqs second mcqs is also very very important to you this is that in null hypothesis it is given that null hypothesis in null hypothesis we know that first i uh, first i clear your concepts that what is h not and what is h1 h not h not is a null hypothesis that means here equal or greater than equal or less than equal that signs are for null hypothesis in null hypothesis Sign is equal or greater than equal or less than equal. Must remember that key point. Next, H1. H1 is an alternative hypothesis. That means that's for H0 is for rejection, but H1 that's for acceptance. Here, equal, but here is does not equal. That means they are opposite to each other. They have not a relationship to each other. So must remember that or Get than equal, but here it will be less than next or less than equal than get than. So that's in any problems in solving problems in the testing. So must remember that here as not is equal, then here will be not equal in H1. Must remember that. Get than equal, then it will be up here less than. But here less than then it will be yes yeah, and opposite to each other. So must remember that as not has a sequence of that. H1 has a sequence of that. See, that's another key point I am telling you that there's are secrets of hypothesis testing. Here, so in null hypothesis, H0 is equal or greater than equal less than I have told you before. Next, moving that, which of the following is not simple hypothesis? Next MCQ is very, very important to you before you. But here is that given which one, first of all, we have to telling about that what is simple hypothesis and what is composite hypothesis first of all i will discuss that simple hypothesis first of all i will discuss in that simple hypothesis simple hypothesis and next is that composite hypothesis composite hypothesis composite hypothesis but in simple hypothesis, here H0 mu is equal to 60. So must remember that in simple hypothesis, there is a sign of equal. But in composite hypothesis, which is not a simple hypothesis, that's are opposite to each other, just like H0 and H1. But here H1 is mean greater than equal to 60. So they have a relationship of that. Must remember that. In simple cases, there is a sign of equal. They are all parameter distribution are specified. But in here, 
less than equal or less than equal sign shows that that's a composite hypothesis. So which of the following is not simple hypothesis? So that's a not simple hypothesis. That's a composite hypothesis. Not simple hypothesis. That's clear. So that's a simple hypothesis and that's it. Composite hypothesis. That's clear. Next moving. Next key point is very very important to you. I am telling that MCQs are very very important for you. I am telling the secrets and key points. So you have a clear concept. Next moving here. Uh, four MCQs in two tail test. First of all, I am telling you that what is one tail and what is two tail set. I am telling you that secrets and key points to between two tail and one tail. Where first of all discuss one tail. One tail test. One tail test. Next. Here, two tail test. Two tail test. So one tail test in here. H1 is less than or greater than. Must remember that key points and secrets that in one tail test, H1 is always less than or greater than. That's clear. But in two tail test, H1 is does not equal. That is two tails. So must remember that in one tail test, when H1 is less than or greater than, next, H1 is not equal. That is, it lies between both tails of distribution. So that is our key point. That is one is the difference between one tail test and two tail test. That is also opposite to each other. They have not a relationship to each other. That is clear. So uh, in two tail test, H1 is in two tail H1 is just so we have cleared the concept that in here if we if we ask that at one tail test and then we can say that H1 is less than greater, but we say two tail test H1 is of does not equal. That's why I hope that you have cleared concepts in that. Next I'm moving that next points are very very important for you. Next point. So like this is next FCQs is that rejection region. Very simple is that. Rejection region is also called critical region. Very simple. We have known that that's the shape of normal distribution. Here is the relationship is that that region is called as acceptance region. That region is called as acceptance region. But here these are uh, inner term is called as acceptance region, but outside are called as rejection region. Outside is called as rejection region. That also is called as rejection region. So must remember that that inner part is called as acceptance region. Then which here we can say that 1.96 and minus 1.96. These are values that the group of values of test test in which that is called as inner part acceptance and outer part is rejection region. That rejection region is also called as critical region. So must remember that if we say that rejection region, critical region, they are same. So must remember that rejection region is also called as critical region. I will discuss them uh, very concept, very explanation in my next video. Next moving that power of test. Very very simple. Power of test is the one is equal to one minus beta. So must must remember that uh, I tell you key points that type first arrow. Type first error is denoted by alpha. So must remember that type first error is denoted by alpha. But type second error, type second error is denoted by beta. So must remember that type first error is denoted by alpha. But type second error is, very, uh, is denoted by beta. That's our main secrets and key points. So power of test is a is equal to one minus we can say that that's the complement of type secondary beta. So power of test is always equal to one minus beta. Next moving that level of signals. Very very simple that level of signals is alpha. We know that level of confidence is equal to one minus alpha. I am telling you before that level of confidence. Level of confidence. I am telling you before that level of confidence is equal to 1 minus alpha, but level of signal is alpha. So, best remember that type first error 
is also called as level of signal. This jack also denoted by alpha, that's also denoted by alpha. They have a level of significance and time by standard have a relationship between each other. So level of signal denoted by alpha. That's clear. Next, most common values of alpha, we already know that. 1% or 5%. So must remember that in testing of mean, difference, proportion, must remember that most common values alpha are 1% or 5%. We can say that 0 0.05 or 0 0.01. That's a lot know that most common values of alpha are 1% or 5%. We can say that 0 0.05 or 0 0.01. That's clear. Next, moving that. Next key point is very, very important to you. Next key point I'm discussing very very important issue that cover test strategy very very important very very important FCQs test strategy is a formula so must remember that test strategy is a formula what is test testing test testing here z chi square normal that's all called that's formulas for example we can say that z is equal to x bar minus mu over sigma over the so that's called as test strategy. We can say that that's called as test strategy, which is the formula, which is the formula. So must remember that test strategy is the formula, formula for Z, formula for chi square, formula for T distribution, formula for F distribution. Any formulas for testing, we, uh, we have a key point. So must remember that that formulas are called as test testing. That's clear. Next point then, which is the calculated value from which we calculate the calculated value. Calculated value. That's clear. Next moving that. 10 MCQs. 10 MCQs is very important for you. If H naught is rejected after testing, it's called as significant. That's very simple. If H naught is rejected after testing. Testing uh, after testing, if H naught is rejected, that's called a significant test. But if H naught is accepted, I will tell you if I said, but if but if H naught here is H naught rejected, but if H naught is accepted after testing. If H0 is accepted as an opposite case, if H0 is accepted after testing, that's called as, is called as very simple, insignificant testing. In significant testing. So must remember that, that's I am telling you the is difference between significant test and insignificant. That's are very important for you. If H0 is rejected after testing, that's called as if we test the value, if H0 is rejected, that's called a significant test. But if H0 is accepted after testing, that's called as insignificant test. I hope that you have cleared the conception that. And last discuss that, I have already discussed that time second error is denoted by beta. I have already discussed that time first channel is denoted by alpha and time second is denoted by beta. I have already discussed. I hope we have cleared conception in the testing MCQs. That's MCQs are very very important for you. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then kindly must subscribe to my YouTube channel and must press bell icon button for getting notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.